It's daybreak. It's time for Madam Sherrings to have her business at Baka. She has to drive her car from her house in Bindango to her shop in Baka Srike. It takes forty minutes duration. I wonder if I say that she would drive back and forth every day. Definitely yes. Paka is a small town in Julan District, in the Serke Division of Sarawak. Most of the pupils are Ibans, only 97 percent. While minority group are Chinese, just only 2.5 percent. The origin of the name Paka comes from a fruit that grows abundantly in that area. It is said that the Paka fruit represents the durian. Madam Sharing owns a small grocery shop named Discount Store. It was established on 1st October 2008. The store is open on 7 a.m. and closed at 5 p.m. Most of the customer are Iban. Most of the younger generation work in city, and the student live in school quarters for their convenient during schooling. So the whole week. Only Sunday is crowded with people. Madam Sharing has sold many kinds of grocery, such as bread and bun. Ice cream, drinks, toys, stationery. Candies and sweets, body washer, washing liquid, toothbrush and toothpaste, canned food, biscuit, noodle, eggs and other grocery. There are many problems that faced by grocery shops. One of them is shock of manpower. There is fewer employee willing to work in the grocery shops. Most of them, especially younger generations, are resigned after a few months because they feel that it is low pay, hot environment. Boring, and do not have career opportunity. A solution, employer can offering the employee as a monthly pay worker with entitled annual leave. And sadly, tendon incentive increasing salary every year, bonus, medical reimbursement, overtime for rest day is one point five times, and prescribed. Holidays is two times. Lunch and accommodation is provided. The next problem. Is fewer world sellers and distributor will deliver the goods to the rural area shop. This is because it is too far from city, so the owner can drive to nearer district, such as Sipu and Srike, to buy the discount goods. In a large amount 
from the hypermarket, especially member day promotion. Then the owner keeps the goods in the store for the purpose of replenishment. There are fever customer in categories of elders are unable to pay the grocery goods at the end of the month due to their children having their big money into the bank. For the customer who are familiar with, the owner can prepare an outstanding account to record the goods with accurate price and ask them to acknowledge receipt. The owner should fix a time for them to settle the credit. Cebu is a town that located in central Sarawak. Cebu is Sarawak's most Chinese city. One third of locals are food house people. Cebu is Tam Swan City with numerous swans statues decorating various parts of the town. Star Mega Mall was developed by Dyson Group. It is the biggest all-in-one shopping mall in the central region. It was operating on June 9, 2011. For the ground floor, it is fulfilled with many small stores that sell fast food, shoes, gift, electrical goods, hair saloon, and entertainment center. Descott Hypermarket and Development Store is occupy the whole first and second floor of the mall. It is anchor tenant of the Mega Mall. Desco is subsidiary of the Dyson Group that managed by the Dot Lao Nye Huang and his children. In the first floor, it is sold with daily goods.
in the second floor. There are women department and men department which selling the clothes for women and men. What is the problem that faced by the hypermarket? One of the problem is attitude and job performance of employee. Some of the workers have negative behavior when doing their tasks. They are acting lazy and do not want to complete the task. This will impact hypermarket in a negative manner. The HR manager can increase the employee's job performance and productivity by providing training and continuous development. Through the training and development can increase job certification and moral among employees, and the worker will work more effectively. Training costs will make the part-time employee more likely to stay. There are many hypermarkets as competitors in Cebu. Most of the hypermarkets are promoting goods and offering big sales for the customer to buy goods. This will lose the main source which is customer. To attract more customers, the marketing department should have a strategy on promotion and sales through mass media and social media. Sometimes, organization on member days is a good way to have a crowd of people to buy cheaper goods in hypermarket. Although hypermarket has installed CCTV, but still have some items missing after checking by manager. Hypermarket can have an imitate security bags from a certain chance to avoid the missing of goods.